go into our Amazon Affiliate Account Dashboard and use Observe right here. These are the sales that we got this period. As you can see, we only got 6.23% out of this 4,971 revenue from Amazon. But the main purpose here is we are able to send traffic to our affiliate link and convert them into affiliate sales for affiliate commission. Now, the way I'm doing this, I automate things, especially on Pinterest. As you can see, we've got a bunch of boards right here. And if you take a look at one of the boards, for example, vertical farming, you see lots of impressions are coming in to this Pinterest pin. So you can see right here, it's got 2K impressions. So impressions are not the traffic going to your website. So here, let's say, for example, you've got 2,000 impressions. And some of them may and click the link that's connected to your pin right here. So you can see they are able to navigate and go to the site right here. You'll see this visit site. And in that site, you will have the affiliate link. It depends on the product you are selling. So here, for example, this one, the best cooker. So here we are promoting things from Amazon. And you can check which product you want to promote. And once you decided, for example, this one, this steamer right here that costs 229 whenever someone purchased this, you will get the 4.5% emission. Now, to easily create our pins here on Pinterest, and just to show you the impressions that we're getting this past few weeks, we have some impressive amount of impressions coming in. And for us to grow some of our boards here, let's say here, I'm going to add new items in Best Cooker. So we're going to promote things related to steamer. So here in search, we know this category, kitchen and dining, provide us 4.5%. So we're going to type in this one, food steamer. And you will see with that bunch of results right here. If you are signing to your Amazon associate account, you will see this button right here to get your affiliate link. So let's do that. Let's click it and copy our affiliate link. And once you have this affiliate link sent, save somewhere in your notepad, go to this website called make.com. Here we will make automation to automatically create Pinterest pins for us. So we just watch these simple steps. First, create this scenario. And here we're going to take keywords from our Google Sheets, which is very easy to set up. So we just open a blank Google Sheet right here. So just name this as food steamer. So I'm going to do that. Uh, we will need keywords to create contents. To gather your free keywords, just sign up a free trial here in SEMrush. Now go to Keyword Magic Tool right here and just type in here food steamer. So you will see a bunch of keywords here related to food steamer. Go to question tab so that our contents will be informational and get as many keywords as you need to automate your contents. So for example, I'm just going to tap a few just to start to set up my automation and then head back to your dang spreadsheet right here. Since I copied from SEMrush, I'm just going to paste it in another sheet because I just want to take the column for keywords. So let's say I'm going to grab 12 for now and I'm going back to sheet number one and then paste those keywords right here. The status set them all depending just like that and copy every king until the 12th keyword. So you can have as many keywords as you need here. Now going back to our automation, we're ready to take keywords from our Google Sheets. So here the first step will be this one, search rows. So just select that. And here make sure you are connected to your Google Sheets Google account. And we're going to select our spreadsheet, which is the food steamer right here. And we're going to select the sheet number one because that's where our keywords coming from. And here we will just get keyword with pending status and we will just get one at a time right here. I'll save that. The next step is to create our pin. So to automate the creation of your pin, you do have content as well to be posted on your website. So not only the pin, but also content. So we will be using article AI generator. You can use something else, but what I want here is I can easily automate things because here in app secret GIF, we are able to create an image size optimized to Pinterest pin size. So we will be using this nine by 16. At the same time, we will create an SEO friendly article so just watch carefully how we can easily set this up. So first copy this request URL right here. Go back to your automation. Now we're going to create our second step, which is these make our requests like that. And here change this to post and paste a URL just like that. Now keep this header. We will go straight to add query string. Click this and hide our first query string, which you can get from the query parameter here. So we will just set up this basic tree first. So I'm just going to copy this as the key. And then this one is the value. So let's go ahead. So this is my username and then the value of your username. So you add the first tree. So keyword will be coming from our Google Sheet. So I'm just going to select the, I'll put my cursor here in value and then select keyword. And then the third parameter will be our secret key. 
and here just got your secret key can paste it right there now to automate our pinterest pins i'm gonna add another parameter and i'll copy this generic image copy that and head back here and then here put a value yes and we will need to have this pinterest size pin so i'm just gonna pass the image size as well and paste it right there and here it will be 9 by 16 so that's the ratio of our pinterest pin now i want to have my article hook to be the short and we will need a website to post to our website so that all our affiliate links will be in our website not directly from pinterest because pinterest might ban us if we directly put our uh, amazon affiliate link so we're going to do that so we will save this at uh, first we're going to post that to our website so here i'm just going to use this because all my affiliate links and all my articles are written here and if you see one example so here outdoor kitchen for kids and we have the affiliate link to amazon so this is where we're going to direct from pinterest pin now to be able to do that i'm just quickly grab my wordpress credentials so i can easily post them to pinterest to my wordpress so here in circuitai.online i'm just going to log in here you can go to credentials and you can have your wordpress your reddit your medium account here in one place so that the time you need this for your automation it will be easy so i'm just going to take these credentials right here to post my website to post the content to my website so i'm just going to take this identifier right here so to set that up so come over here to the home page and you will see this wordpress automation helper so the same thing we will again set up another http so this one right here and just select this make a request and here we're going to choose post and the url coming from this one so i'm just going to copy this now paste that here in the url and here the difference is we will need headers because that's what mentioned here so we can simply copy this and paste the header value right here so that's this one and paste it and here we're gonna bypass the query stream we don't need that but here we will need the body so we will choose this application form url it code that's what we're gonna choose and we will just simply add this mandatory these or parameters back here so we will start with the username so same as we're doing in article ai generator so let me add one item here which is the username so this username is your circuit ai that online username which you can grab from here so i'm just gonna copy this and paste it in a value and then the next item will be identifier so that's what i'm talking about identifier you just grab that from here so if you have multiple websites you can add them here and just grab the identifier so it will know where it should post just like that and again another parameter is the post title paste it right here now for post title it will be coming from the result of article ai generator our generated article if we haven't run our automation we cannot see the value that we're going to pass here so just use this to the data the title and then this double curly bracket so this is the response that will be coming from article ai generator make sure you copy that and paste that in the post title now here next one is the post content i'm just going to add that and the same thing it will be this one i'm going to paste it right there and the last thing is the post status we're going to have it as publish and since we are generating an image we will just post our image here add image just like that and the value will be yes and the image url so add this right here the image url again will be coming from the generated article so we will copy this and paste it right there so save this now the question is where are we going to put this affiliate link right here that's very simple so if you have in your wordpress so see here in categories i have here the best cooker or the food steamer so whatever category that fits here we're gonna full put that in the best cooker category so what i need to do is install this plugin so if you go to install plugins i have this plugin called add inserter so this way you can organize your pinterest ads or amazon links so in the settings we go to the add inserter and here if you notice the buttons that i showed you earlier so here it's set up based on the category so you see right here so for example this button right here this belongs to the house design category tiny house and we go to another tab so here i'm just going to use a blank tab right here i'm just going to put my amazon affiliate link right here so just like that and i'm just going to grab so here how we render the button so we're just going to copy that example and here we paste that like that and this one we're just going to need to replace the link here in ahref with the link we have from amazon and here we're going to say check pricing on amazon just like that all right now this tab number nine we're going to allow this to appear in a certain category so we're going to pick this list and tick this category 
and we're going to choose this best cooker and make sure you take this so it's whitelisted so you see this icon it's checked that means it's whitelisted and here you're going to type you're going to put before posting the insertion that's all the configuration you need save the settings so every time you create a content with the inside the best cooker category it will have that amazon link so we're going to have to add this category right here in our pinterest automation so add another one here category and just copy the name of the category configured here in your wordpress so come here to categories and just copy this and that right here i'm just going to export this blueprint if you want to set it up in your own mate.com so i'm just going to save this before i forget guys in your article ai generator make sure in the settings here you're going to choose the parse response so that the structure that i showed you right here will exactly appear as this so don't forget these settings and save this all right so down to our second to the last step which is posting to our pinterest so we just search this pinterest and select this create a pin now here it's first time you're connecting your pinterest just authenticate your pinterest account to connect your account here in make that on now i'm just going to select the board which is the best cooker and here important part is this image url and the same value you added here so copy this again paste it here all right i think that's all we also need a title which is this one so let's copy the same and let's put the same in the description that's all the step we need save this so we're gonna automate our first keyword that we added here which is this one how to use a steamer for food now we will need to add one more step that is to update the status to done so that the next time the automation runs it goes to the second keyword so let's do that it's very simple so add another google sheets and this one update the row just select the hint spreadsheet this food steamer right here and the sheet number one so row number it determines which one to update so we just choose this from the first step the row number right there and here just update the column b which is the status set it to done all right that's all the setup we need in our automation now let's run our first test click this run once and you will see right here looks like our automation has been successfully executed now we should be having our keyword right here and as you can see it's smart as done so we will check our pinterest so here let's refresh this best cooker we should have our new pin there you go that's our new pin how to use a steamer so when you click that and this is our beautiful pinterest pin we forget another settings dice i'm sorry because we don't have the link because we miss adding here in our pinterest very important part which is the link so the link will be coming from the response of this our link going to the website so you see here we can add that so the same thing as we set up in article a generator make sure you have this as parse response just like that and here we're going to have the post url so what we need to do is come up with another string right dick like this but this time it's tree because that's the step number three right there and this one is post rl that's what we need to add here in the link all right and save this so make sure this is sparse response yes now if you want to try creating another pin right here so it goes to the second keyword it will now have the link going to our website so we save this automation so i can give you this free template that you can set up in your own link.com so i think uh, that's all i can share in this video and if you learned something don't forget to leave a like and i will be adding the link to download this template in the description below please subscribe and see you on the next one